Texan Global School. Order of a polynomial. Algebraic processes are facilitated by ordering the polynomials before starting the analysis to arrive at a solution. Therefore, in this video, we will analyze the specific approach to organize these algebraic expressions. Ordering a polynomial implies writing its terms so that the exponent of the same literal decreases or increases from term to term. The first step is to sort alphabetically the variables of each term of the polynomials. The term 2b a c is ordered as 2 a b c, or negative 5 x c y w is ordered as negative 5 w x y c. Subsequently, we must write its terms so that the exponent of the same literal decreases, descending order or increases, ascending order, from term to term. The polynomial x squared minus 2x plus 1 is arranged in descending order, and the polynomial 1 minus 2x plus square x is in ascending order. In this example, we will sort the polynomial in ascending and descending order. The first step is to sort alphabetically the variables of the terms of the polynomial. Those variables in which the exponent is not shown indicate that its value is 1. We can also see that the second term lacks a variable x, which can be represented as x raised to zero power by laws of exponents. Since we have the variables sorted alphabetically, and we can see the exponents of each term, we will start by sorting in ascending order, that is, from lowest to highest exponent in the first variable. According to this order, we see that the first term would have the variable x with zero exponent or that term without variable x. Later, is the term with the exponent x raised to the first power and finally, the term with the x squared. In this way, we can see that the polynomial is ordered in ascending order as the exponents increase. In descending order, it is precisely the other way around. First comes the term with the variable x squared, since it is the one with the highest degree. Then the term with the variable x raised to the first power and finally the term with the variable x raised to zero or that term without x. In this second example, we will follow the same steps to order the given polynomial. First, we sort the variables of the terms of the polynomial alphabetically. Let us remember again that those variables in which the exponent is not shown indicate that the exponent value is one. To facilitate the process, we will use the law of exponents which tells that every number raised to the zero power results in one to express the independent term, lacking variables, with variables raised to the zero power. Since we have the variables ordered alphabetically, and we can see the exponents of each term, we will start by sorting in ascending order. In ascending order, goes from lowest to highest exponent in the first variable, a. We can see that the term with the variable of lesser degree is precisely the independent term since it lacks variables or can be represented as variables raised to zero power. This representation does not alter the polynomial since, by definition, every number raised to the zero power yields one. The next term is the one where the variable a is raised to the first power. Later, the term with the variable a raised to the fifth power. And finally, the term with the variable a to the seventh power. The descending order, as explained, is the other way around. The term with the first variable of the highest degree will initiate the order. In this case, the term with the variable a raised to the seventh power, then the term with the variable a raised to the fifth. It is followed by the term with the variable raised to the first power and finally the independent term. It is essential to emphasize that the order of a polynomial has nothing to do with the numerical coefficients of the terms. In this last example, we will follow the same steps. First, we sort the variables of the terms of the polynomial alphabetically. We represent those variables without an exponent raised to the first power. Those terms that lack a variable will be represented as the variable raised to zero power. Since we have the variables sorted alphabetically, and we can see the exponents of each term, we will start by arranging in ascending order. In this particular case, we can see two terms where the first variable a is raised to the first power. To order these terms, we must then consider the following letter b and order equally in ascending order. Therefore, 
To order the polynomial in ascending order, the first term is the one with the lowest degree, that is, with the variable a raised to the first power and b raised to the first power as well. Then the term that follows also has the variable a raised to the first power, but its variable b grows to the second power. Then the third term is the one with the variable a squared, followed by the term with the variable a cubed. And finally, the term with the variable a raised to the fourth power. As mentioned before, the descending order is exactly the other way around, in such a way that the degree of the exponents decreases. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved to Texan Global School, LLC. www.texanglobalschool.com.